Hello everybody. Today I'll be talking about movie review number 47. Before I announce the name of this movie, you're probably wondering why it is so talking here. Well, I thought it would be appropriate for myself to record myself in the dark, because this movie I'm going to talk about is the Lego Batman movie. And for us, there was a tight there's a line in the beginning where Batman talks about a black screen coming on and how a black screen would make some kids in the studio sensitive nervous. But yeah. Anyway, so the Lego Batman movie is a 2017 film directed by Chris McKay. Um I saw this on August 1st, 2020 at the RJ Cinema in East Gay, Ohio, and I loved it. 10 out of 10. Now, I have seen this movie before at Regal, yeah, Regal Cinema's Deerfield in 2017, and I wanted to see this again, so I did, and it was awesome. So. This story is Will Arnett as Batman, who also reprised the role of Batman in the Lego movie. So this takes place some sometime after the events of the Lego movie, where Batman is saving the wives of Gotham City from the villainous Joker. And Batman is by himself, except with Alfred, and so... He, we want to read, adopts a boy named Dick Grayson, who becomes Robin, and with the help of Police Commissioner Barbara Gordon, the four of them attempt to take down Joko from, from the Joko's prince to destroy Gotham City. And this was a very, very good and fun, loving movie. I really, really like this. Like, this definitely shows why Batman fears to be alone all the time. Because, for those of you who know the Batman origin story, I mean, a little bit is depicted in the film, but not too heavily considering this is a kid's film. But due to Batman's tragic history of his parents being killed in an alley by a gunman. You can see how Batman is trying to not go back that path of family because he doesn't want to lose anybody else. So a little bit is reflected in the film. But Batman realizes that family is important and having family around can definitely help him. And so, this really was good. I mean, I really like how they did it. Um, I mean, it was awesome. While Finney's plays Alfred Sad Gennett Gowan, I cannot pronounce that last name, but the same guy who was in the Hangover series and Do They played the Joker. I apologize for not pronouncing the last name. Rosario, Rosario Dawson plays Robert Gordon. Yeah, it was a very, very good film. Oh, and Michael Cella plays Robin. So, yeah, this was really, really good. And I really loved it. Like, go check this out, guys. It is a fun, lovely movie that is filled with wrath, entertainment, and there are some important messages in this film about family and my family is important so don't check this out guys but like i said this is the second installment i wouldn't say installment but this is part of the Lego franchise the story with the Lego movie and this was the second film the story that involved in the Lego franchise then came the Lego and the Jogo movie and the Lego movie 2 the second part and I heard in the first of all, it's buying the rights to the Lego franchise. So I'm hearing talks of a Lego Batman movie too. So I'm wondering 
How will that work considering that Warner Bros. still has the rights to Batman? So that will be interesting, but I hope they make the sequel. Oh, so before I close out this movie review, here's another line from the film. White. A white screen that was making everybody happy again. Or something like that. It's the final line in the film, besides Batman's, Batman's talking about snake crowns. Yeah, if you want to know what snake crowns are, go check out the film. It is awesome. But yeah, so that's my movie review of the Wake Batman movie. Please stay tuned for the next one, which will be about Wellich. Goodbye.